Hey guys, welcome back again. In this video, we will look at building websites with Python inside the Visual Studio 2022. We will also explore some web development frameworks for Python inside the Visual Studio as well. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. Python is an interpreted, object-oriented, high-level programming language with dynamic semantics. Its high-level built-in data structures combined with dynamic typing and dynamic binding make it very attractive for rapid application development, as well as for use as scripting or glue language to connect existing components together. So enough about the talking, let's get into the real stuff. So as you can see, I've got a Visual Studio installer open. So first thing first, we have to, let's launch the Visual Studio and see what we've got. So as you can see, we create a new project, yeah? So here, as you can see, we've got nothing installed for Python inside the Visual Studio. So even if we select Python, there's nothing showing up here. So we're gonna close the Visual Studio. And we come inside the installer and click on the modify. So here we actually prompted with this workflow. So here you can install whatever workflows that you need for your Visual Studio. But for this video, we're looking at Python development. So this is for editing, debugging, interactive development, and source control for Python. So we check on this box here. So once we check on this box here, we get this Python language support um, checked. And then we've got this optional bit here. So we select the Python 3.9.7. Then we select the Python web support as well. Then we actually chuck in Python native development, right? So once we're done with that bit here, so this will be six, almost seven gig space required for this installation. So you've got to bear that in mind as well. So we click on the modify. So this will actually download and install the necessary components needed for us to get onto the next stage of the video. So I'm going to pause the video while the whole thing downloads and installs, right? So now we've got the Python workflows completed, I mean, downloaded and installed. Let's go ahead and launch Visual Studio. So from here, we, we go on and click on the create a new project. So now, as you can see here now, if we select Python, we put it on R, or if we select Python, as you can see right now, we've got some Python templates for us to get started. So we will look into all of them. So they're mostly web, web projects, right? So the first bit is obviously is a command line application, just like console application for Python, right? And then the next bit is a is Python web project. So this is this is just a project for creating a generic Python web project, right? So let's go ahead and click on it and see what actually is inside. So we're not going to look too much in the, into the project configuration. So we click on the create. So here, as you can see now, it's just an empty web project for Python. So it doesn't contain anything. So you cannot actually run this. If we try to run it, we get an error. So as you can see, the project cannot be launched because the startup file is not specified, right? So we go ahead and create another project that we can run for us to have a look at what actually is happening. So uh, we come back to the start window create a new project. So here, if we look at it here, we'll be able to get started with Django web projects. So this is a project for creating an application using the Django web framework and its features. And we've got a Flask web project as well for, for creating an application using the, the Flask web project. And we've got a bottle web project and we've got some other stuff. So we've got TypeScript console. So I mean, if we, Select just the Python. Yeah, so for the Flask, and we've got the Flask Jade web, web project, and we've got the Bottle web project. 
let's scroll down. So there are other stuff that obviously we can do. So, and then we've got um, a blank bottle wet project. And we've got a classifier project for a cookie cutter. Yeah, and we're not going to look too much into that. So let's go back up. So here, let's select uh, the bottle web project and see what is inside, yeah? So we go on next. We're just going to leave the project configuration as it is, yeah? So we click on the create. So here, as you can see, we've got a couple of, a bunch of files in it. Yeah, I've got the static, which contains, um, yeah, the CSS, fonts, and the JavaScripts, yeah? Then we've got views. This contains the, the, the web page, or the web page view. So let's look at the index, yeah? So this actually is just an HTML that contains our index page. So we're going to run it to see what actually comes out of it, yeah? So right now, we can try to run it, but we'll get an error. So let's try to do that as well. Let's try to run it. So as you can see here now, we've got um, no module named both. So this is how we, if we, if you run into this, this is how we solve it. Yeah. We're just gonna, we're just gonna stop it from running. So as you can see here now on, on this warning side, yeah, there's a Python package specific uh, requirements. That's a requirement of test here. Yeah? Uh, if we look inside, yeah. So here we have to actually download and install the modules. For the for the bottle framework, yeah. So this is what we do. We we create a virtual environment. So as you can see here now, so this was detected in the in the project. So we, we create a virtual environment. So by clicking on this, so here we are actually prompted with this um, dialog. So here you can select if you have more if you have multiple projects. Yeah, you can select whatever project that is applicable, and then the name of the environment. I mean, we're just gonna leave it as it is, but you can give it whatever name that you want. Yeah, and, and where and where you want the um, the packages to be installed. So once you're done with that bit, yeah, then you click on the create. So you you gotta also make sure that you're connected you're connected to the internet because this would actually download and install some stuff from the internet. Yeah. So as you can see here now, we've got we've got that bit. You see, we've got the download and installation being completed. Yeah. So, it might take a little while. So, we're just going to wait for the whole thing to get sorted out. Yeah. So, as you can see, yeah, we've got all the, all the necessary modules installed. So, now we can run it. So, let's run it to see if everything is fine. So as you can see here now, we've got the service running now and we've got the web. So as you can see here, we've got it running. So from here, obviously, um, you can continue and do whatever you want to do with it. So right now we've got all the necessary components needed for us to build our website. So here you can continue and do whatever projects that you want to do. So I hope this actually helps you. If that's the, if that's the case, please make sure you subscribe to the channel because I've got lots of videos coming up. I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.